Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 62. We're talking more about VLOOKUP today. I have the similar data and what I want to do is kind of review what we did last time and then take it a step farther and show you how to do that. So we're going to do e equals VLOOKUP like we did last time. We want to find cell B2 but this time when I do it I'm going to do this. I always want to look at what's in column B even if I move around. So I'm going to do that with the F4 key for a minute and I'll show you why in just a second. Now it says where that table array, where on earth am I going to find the 190.1? Well, I'm going to find it over here. I'm going to look in this list and I'm going to do the, I'm going to include the category this time as well and then go shift in down. So now my range goes from A2 to C198. It doesn't matter if I have more information in, oops, let's do that again. Shift in down. It doesn't matter if I have more information out here. I'm, I can still get column two when I want to. So I'm going to come over here, do my F4 trick like I did last time. Do A2. And there I am, same place I was in the last video. Now watch what happens when I copy this formula over here. It's, I'm still looking at B2. I'm still looking at the same range. Now the only thing I'm going to change is to make that a three. And now what I'm looking at is the category that's listed over here as well. We could find 190.1 and I've got head and neck listed as the category. So I can use this formula, one formula here in C2, I'm going to look up what's in B2 and return column 2. Then in, in this cell D2, I'm going to look up the same B2, I'm going to look up the very same table. The only difference between these two formulas is now I'm going to get column 3. And so I can get both this piece of information and that piece out of the same table. So if you're looking for patients and you want an address and a city, state, and zip, or a balance due and a phone number so you can call them, or you, you can get as many pieces of information out of the table as you want. All you've got to do is make the table big enough to include all the columns you want. And then you just tell Excel what, row do you, or excuse me, what column do you want. I want column 2 for this one, column 3 for that one. Once you've got them set up, fill down, and the whole thing just goes very very powerful tool to manage a lot of data stay tuned next time we'll uh, take it a step further thanks for watching